Hello, everybody. How's it going? I uh, hope everybody's having a good night. Um, I'm just uh, on late tonight. I don't know why. Decided to go late, but... <clears throat> so how's it going? Everybody. <sighs> it's already Friday now, so it's the end of the week. Oh. <laughs> Hello again, yes. Kind of Jolly Rancher, I don't know. Old Jolly Ranchers, who knows? But, um. <coughs> yes, I am. I'm a devil. <laughs> devil Trump. <laughs> yes. I am the devil. Here, I'll move that down a little bit. Eh, I think I have to turn this off. Yeah, well, not so good. But anyways, <laughs> how's it going, guys? It's been a while since I had these are Jolly Rancher Pop-Tarts. I'm not going to heat them up or anything. Just have a little snack. And I'm tonight I'm drinking a... I got in my regular glass here. Pineapple Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so we'll see. So what you guys been up to today? Anything good? I know I was on at lunchtime and out and about doing all that stuff. So hopefully that wasn't too, uh, wasn't too bad. Okay. Green, green pop tarts. I might have to change this out because it's getting in my eyes. But are you good? That's good. So, anyways, not a lot, not a lot going on tonight. Like I said, I was in um. It's not bad. I did reviews on this a long time ago, like um, last year. Jolly Rancher Green Apple Pop Tarts. I've had them there for a while. They might even be past their date. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure the date. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh well. <laughs> I guess they're okay. I won't die. <laughs> I don't know. They're a little ways out of date. Like two years. <laughs> That's just a recommendation. It says best when served before. <laughs> No bang tonight, but maybe I'll have it um tomorrow. Okay. Okay. I might have to I might have to switch up the option here. I think I'm gonna have to rethink my um drink my Trump here. Here, I'll just go with the, I'll just go with the hat. Yeah, that's better. I gotta sit down and like put hairspray on that thing or, or, uh, comb it out or something. I don't know. But anyway, so hope everybody's having a good night. I know it's kind of late. East Coast and 
other countries and some people can't sleep. So that's why I was going on tonight for a little while. And yeah, so. Anything in the news? Anything going on with you guys out there? I don't know. Like I said, I had fun at Taco Bell today. That was a disaster. Taco Bell was just like... <clears throat> I, I They didn't get one thing right. <clears throat> Oh yeah, well, yeah. Now yeah, they got everybody in um, suits and quarantine when they come over from a plane and all that. I was looking it up, and they said that it came from some kind of seafood market. That's where it originated. I guess they sold animals that were contaminated. Yeah, and they, well, they had, um, like, seafood and stuff, too, that were around these bats, I guess. Some kind of mutant virus, I don't know. Kind of weird, though. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Pineapple Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Different. Yeah, um, I was reading about it. But they said that it, they tracked it down to some kind of seafood market. And I guess it was all around these, um, well, they were also selling, like, Ill <clears throat> illegal animals, like, for pets, like bats and, um, I don't know, rodents and stuff like that. And they said they think they got infected and they got over near the all the food and stuff like that. And everybody that was in that market got infected. Yeah, okay, well. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I heard. I don't want to go over to China, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't even think they let you go over there right now. They might be restricting all travel o over there. I don't know. People that had to come back got quarantined, so. Guess it's getting pretty bad. That's why it's like scary. It is scary. So, we will see what happens with that. Oh, check this out. Um, this is a new thing. I know you guys all like to see the cats. I guess they're asleep right now. They have a new cat food for the cats. Now, I don't know if you guys have cats out there, but this is another weird flavor. Then This is cat guy for cats, guys. All right. Now, if I could get them to do it on camera, I, that'd be cool, but I don't know. Check this one out. This is Frisky's Lobster Mac and Cheese. Lobster Mac and Cheese for cats. <laughs> All right. Who the heck is marketing cat treats? Are they on drugs? Are on drugs. Marketing cat treats for humans because they figure that the cats will like lobster mac and cheese. Okay, hey, you know, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> lobster mac and cheese, yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> They're coming out with the weirdest stuff now. And now these are for cats, so, you know, 
that's just wrong. I'm sure, they're gonna have other things, I guess, for all the different animals now. Dogs, I don't know, well, what they need for dogs is like, you know, poop flavored, <laughs> poop flavored treats or, um, you know, something else. Dogs would like that, but I don't know why cats would like lobster mac and cheese. That's kind of weird. It's like, okay, well. No. No, I'm just saying that there is, uh, now, is lobster mac and cheese for cats. I'm telling you, first it was chicken and waffles, now it's lobster mac and cheese. I mean, what are these guys thinking? I mean, I know they want to make it appeal to the people that buy the cat food, but do the cats really like mac and cheese? Well, would you try cat food? Would you actually try the cat food or would you have your cats try it? That's the question. Hi, hey, Tazzy. Because I always want to take the cats shopping and, you know, let them do a taste test. See if they're going to like it or not. But, you know, sometimes they don't get into that. They don't think about that, you know, that the cats are going to be actually eating it. They try to market it to the people, you know. I don't know. That's weird. Stop it, Tessie. You want lobster mac and cheese? I gave you some already. Hey, that's what you should do, you know. Have people over, at, like for the Super Bowl. Put it out as a, a party snack. <laughs> Play your tricks on your friends, you know. When you go to do the game, it's like, you know, cheese puffs, um, pretzels. Chex Mix. This is special Chex Mix. Lobster che mac and cheese Chex Mix. <laughs> hey, you know, maybe they'd eat it. Or that would be the bet. If your team loses, you have to eat lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> it's party mix, so. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Really? Your puppy likes cat food? Well, I guess. I don't know. I guess. It, I don't know. It's a different formula. I've heard a dog feeding cat food and cats eating dog food, but I don't know. It's kind of different nutrition, though. What did, um, the other night, uh, Ziggy ate, um, he ate pork chop, and he ate, um, yeah, I know. He ate a pork chop, and he ate, um, a hamburger. Huh, Tazzy? He did, huh? You didn't want any. You want some down here? Want some more? Okay, come on. Lobster mac and cheese for you. Here, come on. Here. Go have some. That's what they want. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they test market it. I forgot I had these. Things. These are... Hot chili, hot chili, like gummy candy. Lime, watermelon, tamarind, and mango. Different. Yeah, I need to find the Cheetos popcorn that they've got. I saw the cheddar in another store and then I still haven't seen that flaming hot popcorn they've got now 
I tried the regular, it was called Chester's Puffs, but those aren't real popcorn. They're that puffed, puffed corn snack kind of thing. They have uh, butter, cheese, and flaming Hot ones. And they're, they're just, you know, the puff that look like popcorn. Really? It's done that. Now, I have a theory. This happened to me before. Are you watching on your phone? If you're watching on your phone and you run out of memory, YouTube will shut down. I found that out. So if you're like running out of space on your phone, it actually shut me down off the stream. And I found out that was because I was out of memory. Because for some reason, YouTube was hogging up like 30 gig worth of memory. Now, I don't know. What I had to do was I had to uninstall the YouTube application and reinstall it. And it cleared up all that memory that it was hogging up. Because it shouldn't take 20 gig worth of, you know, space. Mm-hmm. Hi. Yeah, it was like up to 20 gig, and I'm like, why, why is YouTube taking up 20 gig worth of memory? It should only take up for the application now. I know, I'm, I mean, I know I download all my videos and stuff, but... I think it has to do also with the live stream when it um, finishes the live stream, it downloads the live stream. Hi, Tazzy. Tazzy. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Another thing is, is, I don't know if you have an iPhone or what you have, but I found out my um, memory, if you have videos and you delete them, they go into a deleted folder and they stay there for a month. Yeah, go to your go to your um, deleted folder, and there will be if you have any videos in there, go into the deleted folder and delete them out of the deleted folder because they stay there for a month in the deleted folder unless you tell them to delete them, and then that takes up space because it's like a holding thing. That's another thing I found out. Because it holds them for 30 days and then it deletes them. Meanwhile, they sit in a folder and hold up memory. So if you got an extra long video or lots of pictures that you've not, that you've deleted but haven't actually really gone away. Hi, stop it. Hey, watch it. Yeah, that's what you got to do. I got to, I had to go in there and clean up a lot of memory. Ah, no, stop it. No. Now you've been petted. Now stop it. <laughs> well, yeah. Sometimes, well, if you've got it backed up onto the cloud, you can get them back from the cloud, but you have to delete them off your phone. <laughs> Ow! Hey, stop it. Stop it, Tazzy. does this all the time I swear he hits me if I stop petting him now stop it you better stay there here play with this play with that
I don't know, man. I don't want to think about that. That's TMI, you know. What stay what goes on on your phone stays on your phone. I don't want to I don't want to get into it. <clears throat> so yeah. Staying out of it. Now, are you done? No more? Good. <clears throat> nah. Nope, nope. Not going there. You can... Oh, well, yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Not going there. So... <laughs> uh, What did I see? I saw some funny videos. I was watching funny videos, bloopers, people that film like just everyday stuff that was going wrong. Uh, someone in uh, teachers in the class they had they had the one. It was funny. The guy was um, it was a videos and they were things that that t happened in class. That the you know teachers got mad at the students or whatever, and one of them was really funny, man. This guy was, um, I guess the one the one teacher was in his office, and I guess there was one of the students came in there and they didn't knock. He just barged in to the office. Hey, sessions. <laughs> I know, but he was. In his office, and he was on his computer, and he was watching adult videos. And one of the students just barged in there and saw what he was watching on on his computer. And I guess he was going to blackmail him and told him he was going to get an A if he didn't. Uh, if he didn't get an A, he was going to tell everybody what was the the teacher was watching. Oh, thanks. And then. Um, then after he got out of there, he, he yelled at him in the classroom. He's like, you know, don't you, you have to knock when you come into my office and whatever I watch in my office is my business. And, <laughs> you know, you need to knock in here. And if you do it again, I'm going to write you up and send you to the principal's office. <laughs> Basically, you got caught. <laughs> um, there's no topic, really. We're just, we're just talking. Just hanging out. A lot of people are on here late night. I uh, kind of keep them up. Whatever, whatever the topic is. Ah, yeah, that's cool. I'm edit I I edited a video as well. So yeah, the yeah he was yelling at him in front of the class and saying, you know. Then he was telling him, hey, this guy tried to blackmail me. So, uh, food review channel. Mostly food review. But at night, I kind of talk about everything that's going on and just whatever anybody out there is doing. Yeah, you know, I used to work and they had, when I used to work at this one office, they basically restricted all internet access out of the building. So we, you know, we had computers that you can, um, log into but it wouldn't let you out you could only do internal they completely locked everything down because people were going this was before youtube people were going on like um ebay and shopping and they're playing games and yeah i think they were watching that but they you know they they uh they restricted the internet access out but people could uh bring in their own system they could bring in their own phone, their own computer. They just couldn't get internet. So if you had a, a DVD player or a, a movie player or something, you could watch that. But so yeah, it was um it was different, you know, back then. That was back in the old days when you had um, laptops were just kind of coming into the mix, and everybody had a desktop. 
and they didn't even have a I don't even think they had did they have cell phone cameras I think they started getting them back then but I don't think they really had when I right before I left I got a um, iPhone 3 yeah it would be that's true hey exploring ginger how's it going so yeah it would be it'd be different how you doing tonight I was on I had the Trump wig but I had the I had the Trump wig but I don't know I'm having trouble with it keeping that hair out of my face <laughs> got my Trump wig but I don't know I'm have to work on it so I got other I got my other I got my other pimp hat too brought that one out I got my purple pimp hat Hey, Session X. Yeah, they, they don't want that anymore. They Yeah, they completely shut off the... They couldn't shut off the... Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't... Uh, they, you can't see the wig if I put it on, so... Yeah, there at the end, they shut everything off. You could only get out on one computer. And it was totally monitored. You know, they had a record of everywhere that you went... And they only let you go out to like our um, 401k site. <laughs> Everything else was blocked. You could, I mean, you couldn't get, you couldn't even get to, to Yahoo. So yeah, there was no, hey, what? What? <laughs> Come on, Tazzy. Yuck. Stop it. Yeah, they 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 put a um filter in there so you can't get to any questionable sites. And you know, like Yahoo and uh yeah, anything. Yeah, that's the thing. They yeah, they would um yeah, because we had like uh Merrill Lynch and we had to do access our 401k access. And that needed a um you had to do that from work. So I think that was like the only one they let you let you go out to. But it was a that was all total. But now everybody's got their own, you know, iPhones and everything else. Yeah. They, there for a while, they used to, the, the people used to spend all day going to like eBay and Amazon and shopping for stuff and playing games or listening to music or watching movies. Because we would work at night and there were no supervisors there, so people were able to get away with that stuff. But now you can't do that anymore. Now, are you done? Tazzy, are you done? Okay, stop clawing me. Now, no more, okay? Yeah, now we do. You know, now you can get um, pretty much access anywhere. Although some, sometimes you can't. There are some... That's one thing I don't like is when you go to like uh, my Walmart's crummy with the reception and they supposedly have Wi-Fi, but it doesn't ever work. I know Target's got it. My gross, some of the grocery stores have it. Uh, McDonald's has it. Starbucks has it. But my Walmart's horrible for signals. It's like a dead zone inside. And I think a lot of them say they don't want you to film anything in there they just like kind of restricted they don't like you filming things in there <laughs> yeah well not a lot of people you know what some people don't they get away with either a phone or a phone and a tablet or a tablet 
there's still some of the old, um, the old faithful, old reliable people that would um, go on a desktop, and you know they never had, they don't, they don't trust the cell phones and the internet, and they don't do anything online. Old school, you know, read a book, watch, watch television, and that's it. They don't do any banking online. They don't do any. Or they still use the phone, you know, to call people. They don't go online or go on their web page or order from their mobile phone or anything like that. Some people are still old-fashioned. And they go to the bank and they withdraw money, actual cash. So, I don't know. Although, like today, man, it didn't work for me at all. Mobile. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Okay, well. Yeah, sometimes you have to shut it off, the, the Wi-Fi, to shut off that in the um, thing to get a better signal. Because it's like, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't interfere. But, yeah, today, today was not a good day. Yeah. Because I went to the, <laughs> I went to Taco Bell and I went inside. I thought it was going to be easier to go inside, you know, because I needed to take a picture as well. And they ha and the the guy at the counter was like taking too long, so they have the little um, term touch screen terminals you can order, right? So I ordered on there, and hey, YouTube watcher. Yes, I did. And, um... <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what happened was I went in there, I ordered from the, the touch screen. I ordered it, and then apparently that doesn't print receipts out. It sends you an email or a text of what your order was. So I had them send me a text of it, and... Then I'm waiting for them, and then when I go up there, they gave me the completely wrong order. And then I showed them, I said, you know, no, I had uh, the fries and the burrito. Showed them on my phone, I said, here you go, this is what I ordered. And I said, you gave me two burritos. And then they're like, oh, okay. So then she goes back and she gets the nacho fries. And then I'm like, okay, well, this is okay. Then I get out in the car. They weren't the they weren't even the right nacho fries. <laughs> she didn't get it and it was I don't know how they did it, why they did it or whatever it was. I ordered chicken, buffalo chicken nacho fries and buffalo chicken nacho fry burritos. And I got nacho fries with beef. <laughs> like the old style ones. Beef and cheese, that was it. No buffalo sauce, no chicken. No pico de gallo, nothing. <laughs> and it clearly said on there, you know, buffalo chicken. They didn't get it. And they didn't get They didn't understand. And they tried to give it to me for, I said it was to go. They tried to give it to me on a tray. <laughs> yeah, so it was just, a, it was a complete disaster. They didn't pay attention. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing was, then I looked at it, and yeah, the, then I found out that the the burrito was a, um, it was a buffalo beef burrito. <laughs> they put beef instead of chicken, but then they put the buffalo sauce on it. I don't know, someone had something set up to do the beef with the buffalo, beef with buffalo sauce. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, and the whole thing is supposed to be this, you know, chicken, pulled, uh, shredded chicken. No, they weren't. That was the problem. I went at like 11 o'clock, and I think that's what happened was, it was the first day for the burrito. No one had ever made it. They didn't know what it was. And they just threw the stuff together. They didn't pay attention to what they were doing. That happened the last two times I tried it. 
when I went to the, I tried the toasted chalupa, they screwed that order up. When I got the rattlesnake fries, they screwed that up. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting like, one, one night I ordered, yeah, I ordered a nacho fry in the drive-thru, they gave me regular nachos, and I don't know. Yeah. Well, like I said, I wanted to try the new the new release, and so that's why I went down there. And oh well, I got it done, but you know, it was kind of disaster. And I have to I have to edit my um. Oh yeah, I like I make them at home all the time. I have lots of different hot sauces and. Um, you know, I usually put whatever I want in. I put like, um, either turkey or ground beef or, and then, you know, cheese and lettuce, tomatoes, um, sometimes jalapenos, um, hot sauce, salsa, sour cream. Yeah. You can't get nacho fries. I mean, you can make your own. You can take the fries and make them nacho, but Oh well, it was a f it was an interesting day. That's what I said, and I did do my I did do my rain of fire challenge. I have to edit that, and I have to I have to put it up. But I actually I did do it. I went down there and got my got my wings and yeah, well. Yeah, it just came out. Um, just came out Thursday, so and that's what Taco Bell. I don't know. Some people, some places might get like a day late. Oh, and I, oh, that's the other thing. I gotta go. I saw another thing today. I got. I found another place to review. Yeah, I like the nacho seasoning on them. I don't know whatever some kind of Mexican seasoning or. Nacho cheese, like, yeah, I don't know. Now, what would be good would be, what would really be good was the flaming hot. If it was flaming hot, like Doritos seasoning on the fries, not the nacho. You know, like whatever seasoning they put the red, the flaming hot seasoning on the on the fries. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I'm a fairly small town, and we have actually have um, two two Taco Bells in town. The other one's all the way across town, and the other one's down by my street, so. Normally, I go to the one right by me, so. I don't know. Not been the best place lately, and a lot of people complain about it. And Popeye's is even worse. If you got a Popeyes, forget it. <laughs> Be lucky if you get your order even halfway close to right. So, yeah. <laughs> well, what one is that? Bang? The mango bang? <laughs> I don't know. What did I say? Oh, I gotta, I, I gotta do that. I gotta send away for it. There's a new energy drink. I'm gonna send away. I got a thing I can do. I can get uh, four, four flavors for like six dollars. <laughs> Limited time issue. Well, yeah, one's on the other side of town. I'm not driving all the way over to. Taco Bell and we have actually let's see we got two Taco Bells two Jack in the Box um, like three McDonald's um, we got a Wendy's well technically we have two Wendy's one's in a gas station one's by itself we have um, two Carl's Jr's we have um, Two Wiener Stencil. Uh, what else do we have? Two. Uh, what, um, 
We only have one Burger King. And we have, um, I think that's it for the main, main things in town, but <clears throat> we have, a, oh yeah, we got a couple subways, but you know, that's, that, that's different, but we have a couple Starbucks. Hey, go Donnie. We have a couple, uh, Starbucks in town, like all different all over. They got them in the grocery stores. They got them in the. Other place when we actually have one drive through one that's way out by the airport so like going there but I mean and we, we have two round tables too forget about that two round tables and we have yeah we only have we don't have we don't have some we don't have a pizza hut we don't have a Papa Murphy's, we don't have, or I mean, a Papa John's, we don't have. So, I mean, we got some things and some things we don't have. Yeah, well, like I said, when I, I have to go over to the other side of town sometimes, yeah, it's like literally like a 10 minute drive and traffic. So I try to go to I try to go to places near near my house so I don't have to drive so far if I go you know if I go to get something and bring it home and then I gets cold by the time I get home. Or like I'll go over to Jack in a Box to get the tiny tacos or or whatever. Some places aren't open very late. They close they close fairly early, so um Yeah, but uh yeah, mine's not that small of a town. I th I don't even I forget what the population was, uh, eighty thousand something like that. Last I checked, I'd, I'd have to look at the number again. But it's not like huge city. We got enough. We got enough though. Yeah, I mean, they, we got some little places like that around here. There was one town near here. It wasn't even a town, or it wasn't even a city. It was a municipality. And then it um, got approved as, like, actually a township, I believe, or a city. Because it wasn't, it didn't, either it didn't have enough population or they didn't um, put it as a, a, a city itself. And then I think, guess they applied for uh, official, you know, registration as a city. So for a long time, yeah, it was like a township. And then when with that, though, the, you have to have like the sheriff. You don't have a police force because it's not the city of wherever's police force, you know. Everything was on the, it was county. They had to do the county stuff wasn't incorporated, I guess that's what that's what the big thing was. They used to have some yeah, that used to be the place to go. And it's kind of it's kind of changed. There used to be a lot more um shops and restaurants and stuff over there, but now it's kind of gone downhill. It's more um housing now over there. It kind of closed up all the that's where all the brick and mortar stores used to be. Hey, Zach McLeod, I'm doing pretty good. How are you tonight? And yeah, like I said, um, I'm just hanging out and just talking for a little while. Seeing what you guys are up to. Here, I could, you know what? I think I might, I have to do this other one because I got this one lately. I don't think some of the people didn't see this one. I got a new hat. I'm not going to put the other one on because they don't work real good, but here. This one's going to be funny. I got this one the other day. Some of you people didn't see it. And. All right. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. 
I didn't get the goggles because the goggles are kind of tough to... I'm going to have to get some regular, like, goggles. <laughs> Bonsai! <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, yeah, I have to... I have to adjust this one, but yeah, I had the goggles too, but they're like plastic goggles with a band and they don't work real good. I need to get a, like the regular, you know, f the pilot goggles like from, you know, World War II, the bombers. <laughs> but yeah, this one was funny. I want to get the one with the fur, the fur lining and the, you know, the actual goggles that you put up. So. <laughs> but yeah, today was an interesting day. And like I said, I'm going to have to. I'm going to see what I could do tomorrow. I've got to get, um, I got to get my challenge edited and I got a couple other things to do, but actually you will see, um, I'm putting up a video at noon, the Taco Bell one at noon. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. There's a couple little small dinky towns around here. Because, you know, this used to be like a, you know, like a cow, cow pasture, and it's like cowboy town, you know? All the old, all the old, um, downtown used to be like saloons and, you know, railway stations and stuff like that. That was many years ago, though. Before they incorporated it blacksmiths and you know the railroad yeah the railroad went right down the middle of town basically so yeah it's different i saw some old pictures of um the town before you know they really started putting land on there and a lot of it was just like um pastures and um, farmland then they had some houses and some developments but uh, right near here they used to have a dairy it used to be like right where the shopping center was that was actually a dairy hmm okay that's good we used to when i first moved here we used to have a drive through dairy it was right down the street and you'd go up in there and they had a little gra gravel driveway and you drive your car up and you'd um they'd come running out and they'd ask you what did you want a gallon of milk loaf of bread ice cream butter and then yeah you just go right up to the right up to the dairy they they'd get you the you know butter milk yogurt whatever it was the dairy was right there. It was funny, too, because you could go at, like, you know, 8 o'clock at night. You're in your pajamas or whatever. You just get in the car, drive down there, and get a um, gallon of milk and a loaf of bread. Because, you know, so, sometimes you don't want to get, get out of the car, you know. And you can't do the drive through at the store. <laughs> But, you know, I have seen people in the grocery store late at night, you know, in slippers and pajama bottoms and <laughs> stuff like that. You know, or sometimes, you know, I go through the drive-thru, they don't even notice me. I wore my taco hat, they didn't even notice They don't pay attention.
Maybe I'll go through the drive through like this one time, see if they notice. <laughs> I don't know. Although I've heard there's been some wild characters around here. You know, drunk people, homeless people that get a little bit crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I've gone down to that donut store sometimes late at night. Oh, man. <laughs> Oof. That's scary going down there. After midnight, that donut shop. Ooh. <laughs> Got all the cuckoo people. Especially when the bars let out, like at, you know, 2 o'clock. Because, you know, they have the cutoff at 2. And then a lot of people will go want donuts after the bars are done. And they're all drunk and sloppy and slobbery. And then they go in there and they cause trouble. Because they want donuts. <laughs> and they don't have their maple. And they get uh, they get rowdy. That's why the cops are down there. Late at night, I guess. Well, that to get donuts. But Yeah, I don't know. I remember they used to go to... When I worked at the one place, 7-Eleven used to be down the street, and we'd always go there and get something to drink or whatever, and the cops would be out there late at night getting donuts and getting coffee, I guess. But it was, it was different, man. It was nothing. Nothing open at, you know, 2 in the morning. Some towns do, but some of them... Some of them have 24-hour places, but a lot of them don't. They uh, kind of close up shop. A lot of places around here close up by like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at the latest, you know. I know McDonald's closes up. And um, Burger King and some other ones, but some stay open late. They used to have some really good restaurants around here. That would stay open 24 hours like a Chinese. They used to have a Chinese food place that was 24 hours. Um, there was a like a diner that was open 24 hours. Um, what else? I think that was really they. Um, apparently there is a restaurant. It's we got a casino here and that's supposed to be open. 24 hours where you could I guess you could play cards and and stuff late at night and they I guess they have like um, Where you can get food I but I don't I don't know if it's just on the weekend That they're open 24 hours Or you know when you got to get out and gamble late night <laughs> and I was talking about that um, just yesterday um, how when I used to go to Reno years ago and everything was open and you know you used to get comped and you used to be able to um you know play on the slots and you know it was a lot uh, a lot different back then now they don't have anything like that you know you're kind of like a nobody there anymore and back in the old days everything was open and you know, it was all fun and really okay See, there you go. So yeah, it's all it's all different now. It's changed. Yeah, because I was actually looking up room rates for casinos around here. And some of the ones around here are outrageous on their prices. Per night. Three hundred dollars for a night for a room and nothing no, no like amenity no like you know jacuzzi or spa or anything like that it's just a room three hundred dollars a night for a room with a bed that's it and i looked them up like uh reno it's like you know fifty dollars a night no they don't well they well, yeah, they kind of do. 
If you tip them like five bucks, they might come around more often, but they hardly do that anymore. Actually, I was at one, I was at an Indian casino. They don't have waitresses anymore. They have self-service drink stations where you can go and get your own, um, you know, beverages like soda, water. So they had a drink station, but I think the waitresses would still come around with the alcohol, but at least they had a drink station every so often where you could get yourself, you know, soda or coffee. Yeah, so, yeah, man, I don't know. It's completely different now. I was going back and looking at all the um, places that, you, I, you know, I haven't been to Reno in like probably 10 years at least. And all the places that I used to go to aren't even there anymore. They closed the restaurant down or they closed the, um, whatever the place was inside the, hotels so they don't have those ones that I, that I used to go to anymore I guess they replaced them with something else you know they always change the name or they switch it over to something else ah okay yeah I mean that's it's good and it's bad because then if you want to if you're on your machine and you know you're you're uh you're hot, you don't want to get up to go get a drink. So, yeah. But yeah, if you pay them, if you tip the waitress like five bucks and then like a dollar every time, you probably get more drinks, but you really have to tip them. If you don't tip them, they won't come around. They'll come around like one time. Yeah, they changed a lot. And the last time I went to one, I went to the, it was uh, the Indian casino up here. It was ho it was horrible. I mean, the uh, it's closest one around here and the buffets were unedible and didn't win anything on machines. And the rooms were crummy. So I didn't, uh, I didn't like going there. I mean, the, the actual the buffet, I went to the buffet. There was not one thing that was edible on their whole menu. The only thing you could eat was salad. All the prepared dishes were like horrible. They like they've been sitting there all day, and um, they were like all dried out. And uh, I don't know. It's like they let the whole uh, buffet sit out all day. Okay. Well, that's cool. Well, we got a couple of them. We got like, uh, I don't know, like four or five different casinos here. They're a little ways away, but they all have different rates. Hey, hippie chick, how's it going? But I haven't, like I said, I haven't been there in like a long time. So it's been a while. And the rates are okay. But that's what I was talking about. Now they're starting to do, I don't know if they're doing it there. Are they doing this thing called resort fee? And um, it's like resort fee and um, amenities tax and all these other things that they're actually putting on to the, to the fee per night that you've got to pay on top of your room rate. I was looking up the one and it was like $50 a night tax for um, resort fee or some other kind of thing. And that's supposedly so you can use like if they got a spa or a, um, a workout room or I guess laundry that you could do or um, massage or... I guess if you wanted valet service or whatever. But if you don't use it, you still have to pay for it, which is not right. I mean, if you don't want to do a workout or you don't want to swim in the pool, 
You shouldn't have to pay the tax. Because, I mean, if you're there one night and you don't do any of that stuff, why should you have to pay for all these amenities that you don't use? I don't know. Kind of silly. Yeah, I guess they do. But I just don't, I mean, I, I don't think that's right. And some places are actually charging for parking. If you stay at their hotel, they're charging you for parking while you're there. That's crazy. I mean, not only you're paying to, to um, stay there, but you're paying to park there now. Although I think they said some that you can get a validation if you actually stay there more than one night, I guess. But you shouldn't have to pay to park at a hotel that you're staying at. I can understand if you were just, you know, parking there for the day and, you know, playing there and then you left. That'd be one thing, but if you're an actual guest, you shouldn't have to pay to park. But I actually went to a couple places years ago, man. They were like so run down. I went to this one place right before it ended up closing because I got like a coupon package and it was like um, one free night when you paid when you I think when you booked one night you got a free night and then there was like free pulls and a free t-shirt and like a free buffet and all this other stuff when you used the coupon and I got there and it was like it was the most horrible horrible rundown thing in the world and they only had one restaurant that was open. All the other restaurants either were, were either closed or being remodeled or something like that. Or they didn't open them on certain days, I guess. Which I didn't know. And they didn't have enough staff to run the box office because I wanted to see a show. And then I had to wait for like a half hour before the show to get a ticket to the show. It was like a magician show. And then they had the same guy that was selling the tickets had to take the tickets at the door, <laughs> seat you in there. And then it was funny too, because when you went to the show, normally there's, you know, like a big stadium and it was a magician and there was like 20 people for the show. <laughs> it was like 20 people in the audience that night. <laughs> It was like real close-up entertainment. <laughs> eh, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it didn't... Uh, that casino ended up going out like a couple months later. They sold it or something. I don't remember now. Turned it into hotels. They're doing a lot of that down in Reno. They turned them into condos or apartments. One of the ones that... Um, Used to be the casinos, you know, they had the rooms, they, they turn them into condos and um, apartments like you rent and they don't have casinos anymore. That's actually happening a lot. A lot of these, some of these casinos, um, I saw the one that was in um, Las Vegas and they built it and it was open for like about a year and then they ended up going bankrupt and closed it down. They overextended their self or something. But it's like this real fancy, fancy casino and just decided uh, after one year, I guess they took out too many loans and they, they couldn't pay them off. And so they couldn't pay the workers and all that. They just closed up the doors. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, they had too much um, loans and not enough business, I guess. But that happens a lot. That's what's going on a lot around here. A lot of places are closing down. The rent's too high. Um, you know, it's just the way it is now. So, oh well. So, let's see. I've been about an hour. I don't know what, uh, what you guys are up to. 
Got any plans for the weekend? I, I, I'm i assuming everybody's probably going to watch the Super Bowl. I don't know if you're getting ready for it or not. Any big plans? or? Yeah, normally when the Super Bowl's on, <laughs> well, women go shopping. <laughs> Was all the fun? That was a funny thing. You'd see them all go in the. They'd be in the malls, and the guys would be at home, and that's when the women go out, get their nails done, go shopping. I don't know. The guys stay home and watch the Super Bowl. Although, I don't know. It depends if you're a sports fan or not. I guess some women are totally into it. Some some of them don't care. Some guys, believe it or not, there are some guys that don't care about sports. I don't really follow football, so not a big deal to me. But I actually saw them talking about the halftime show and I guess the entertainment that's going to be there this year. J-Lo was getting ready for everything, I guess. I don't know. That's different, I'm telling you. I think I should only put in one. I put in two Jolly Rancher pineapples, and it's a little overkill. Because I've been... I found out that if you take Jolly Ranchers and you put them in soda, it tastes like whatever flavor that you get in there. So I made pineapple Dr. Pepper. I can do like a cherry, uh, strawberry Sprite or a um, orange Sprite or pineapple or mountain berry. That one, that one is different. I think I'm actually going to go get the other, the regular flavors and have like watermelon, uh, sour apple, grape, and I think cherry is the other one. So I could have um, watermelon Coke or watermelon Pepsi, I guess. That would be different. I don't know how good it would be, but... They got some weird, weird combos out there. I've actually seen them. Not just sodas, but chips and um, chocolate and candies. Yeah, I still got that. Um, I gotta try that one. Got that candy bar with the port in it. Beer, beer flavored candy. I actually did. I I saw that at. Uh, Last year for Valentine's, I wonder if they have it back in Target. They had a beer, fl uh, it was like a beer can, and it had like, I think it was beer-flavored candy, but I don't know, maybe it was talking root beer. It was like a can of beer, and then apparently had beer candy in, inside. And then they had, um, they had some weird things for Valentine's. It was like, um, what was it, a chocolate slipper? Chocolate remote control, a chocolate beer beer bottle. Um, what was that? Chocolate shark. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of weird, like, chocolate shapes. And what was that? His and hers, uh, uh, his and hers coffee cups or something like that. One said, I'm the king. One said, I'm the queen. So... Yeah, that whole, all that weird stuff. But it's kind of expensive when you go into Target. You look around the Valentine's Day, all that um, specialty candy and stuff with the printing on it and the, the bears and the chocolate hearts and all that. They they uh, cost a little bit more in there. I mean, they're cool and cute to look at, but I don't know. Big chocolate heart or a big... Um, Sometimes they've got like gummy things and just uh, gift boxes and stuff like that. 
and they still have all the chocolate um all the chocolate hearts and the um Reese's peanut butter cups and all that thing. I think they have the Reese's hearts and the Russell Stover hearts are for Valentine's Day. What else do they got? Um Yeah, just a whole bunch of other cards and and there were the, the Valentine's Day cards that you used to have to get for your class. And um, those little conversation hearts, those were awful. Remember the ones that said, bite me? <laughs> they actually had naughty ones. Yeah, it was like, bite me. Screw you. <laughs> That's for the people you didn't like, I guess. I had those. Still have to find those um, jelly beans, the hot jelly beans. I have, I haven't found them in the store yet. Still looking. It's supposed to be the new one, the Bean Boozled Hot Jelly Bean Challenge. I've saw some people actually found it. They put reviews on them, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep my eyes out for them. And you never know. So, guys, um, I don't know. Seems like there's not in too many people on tonight. I think they're off out and about. I didn't tweet it because the last time I did, I crashed the thing. So, yeah, it's okay. I know a lot of people, you know, I was at lunch and people saw me at lunchtime, and not a lot of people come on at night. So, it's okay. Um, Hmm. Yeah, just uh, I gotta figure out something to do for the next couple days. I've got a lot of reviews to work on. I got a lot of um, things to kind of try and track down too. So I will attempt to do that. And if I don't, I will probably be on tomorrow night. I don't know if uh, you guys are on the weekend or what guys' plans for the weekend, but I'll probably be on tomorrow night a little bit longer. I just want to go on a little bit tonight. Um, I'm not going to make it a real long stream. And I just want to see if anybody's out there and um, see what you guys are up to. And I will be back tomorrow. And I hope everybody has a good night. And um, like I said, have a good weekend, guys, if I don't see you between now and then. Uh, Appreciate you guys stopping by for a little while tonight. Like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be on too terribly long tonight. But appreciate you guys, and like I said, um, stay tuned for noontime for the review, and then also probably in the next day or two, I'm gonna try and get my other my other stuff up, so you guys can check that out. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up, and I'm gonna head to bed. So thanks a lot for hanging out for a little while tonight, and hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you next time, okay guys? All right, good night.